3D TVs, 3D enabled TVs, and 3D ready TVs. The state of 3D in televisions right now is a mucked up mess. It's just weird. I have a 3D enabled projector. Now the problem with that 3D enabled projector is that it only works with what's called frame progressive 3D. That's the 120 hertz 3D where you go left eye, right eye, left eye, right eye, left eye, right eye in alternating frames at 120 frames per second. Now that's what the NVIDIA flicker glasses work with and what some of the DLP link stuff works with. What's interesting is even though that projector uses DLP link, it's not compatible with the checkerboard pattern 3D that is the DLP link standard for 3D. So it doesn't work with some of the early Xbox games and it doesn't work with any of the stuff that uses what's called side by side, which is what Call of Duty uses in Call of Duty Black Ops if you want to play in 3D, where half of the frame is left and half of the frame is right, and then the picture gets mushed. So this is not a 3D frame, so when you're viewing it in the wrong mode, everything that was over here is now over here, and vice versa. So that's less than optimal for watching stuff that you know isn't 3D. A 3D enabled television will typically have the ability to also do up conversion, which is what this says, 2D to 3D. Now, up conversion in televisions looks like crap. It's it's so gimmicky. All it really does is say that everything that's black should sink in and everything that's white should pop out. And so if you've got a person who's wearing a white dress with black polka dots, she's going to look like she's got cheese, you know, Swiss cheese holes in her because she's going to be white and then these black holes are going to stick in. It works all right for making text look 3D, but as a gaming experience, it's not going to make your games look 3D and it doesn't work well in pretty much any environment, but anything with a starscape looks really weird because the stars look like these cones of light that sh are stripped out of the, the screen. It just doesn't work well. While most televisions have this 3D with top bottom, I don't know anybody who's broadcasting upper upper portion, lower portion 3D. It's, it's a format that used to be out there, but nobody's really broadcasting in it. So the thing that you most want to look for if you're looking for a 3D display that's going to be compatible with your Xbox, with the ESPN 3D, and just about everything else, you want to make sure that it has this side-by-side -side enabled function because that's going to get you the best compatibility across the most shows, players, and such like that. And if you've got that, chances are that it's also compatible with the frame progressive uh, 3D. So that's kind of the rundown. You need to actually probably check that your TV is going to do what you want it to do because even though 3D ready typically means that it supports this, I found that it doesn't always. Sometimes it only supports the frame progressive. 3D enabled usually means that you get side by side and possibly up conversion. So make sure that you read, make sure you ask, and that you get something that's going to be compatible with the 3D format that you need.